hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new hello and welcome to my channel so today I'll be painting guess what a flower you know I, I think it's been a while since the last time I painted or I did a tutorial for a flower and I chose a white rose and if you think that a white rose is just a plain white rose um, I don't believe so because uh, white flower is not just plain white there are some hints of yellows and blue sometimes and sometimes pinks so it's not absolutely white because i think one of the i think i got a comment before that they were looking for a white rose flower and then the flower that i painted was not purely white or at least it's not the white flower that she was looking for i mean i think it's okay that if you're not looking for that kind of white flower but I absolutely believe that a white flower should not be taken too literally it's not really white but the majority of the colors of a white flower is white so yeah I, I, I hope you agree with me guys because if you look closely at the flower at the white flower it's not purely white even a white rose maybe if you're looking at a plastic plastic flower <laughs> fake flower faux flower right so i guess there's a lot of talking <laughs> so let's begin now for this white flower we will only be using i'm sorry for that noise guys i'm sorry about that <laughs> well anyway we'll be using a lot of white paint today so you can see here on my palette i have here my pure white titanium white um lemon yellow and black i'll be using some hints of orange later but that will be a little later so i'm not really putting on putting it on my palette because it might dry up it might dry up so i don't want to waste that paint so for the sketch part i'll be using some gray or maybe for your benefit for those who are viewing me um or watching this video i think i'll just be using some black paint all right so i'm just going to use black paint so that you see it i was planning to use a pencil or a pen for sketching but i really am not a fan of doing a, like a mixed media thing it's also a mixed media when you actually use other um, medium of um uh, painting mediums so i'm gonna use my white and add tiny bit of black to make it some dark gray i'm not gonna use black guys i take it back so i'm just gonna use some gray for sketching purposes and i really think that you can see this from the screen all right this is really visible already so i'm gonna use this to sketch the subject i'm freehand uh, i'm freehand painting everything so If I commit mistakes, um, that's totally forgivable.
So I'm gonna make some adjustments right here. All right, like that. All right, so that's basically the sketch for the white rose. And I'm just so excited to underpaint this now because that's the most fun part for me. So using this gray, I'm just gonna add more white. So I'm just gonna drag the white paint so that it mixes with the gray so that I create a lighter version of the gray color, right? So it's not purely white, but it's not, it should not be super, super dark. So like this gray maybe, I'm gonna try this. And if it doesn't work, I'm just gonna add or uh, I'm just gonna add black or white as may be necessary, but I think this is fine. So I'm gonna use this color, okay, to underpaint the petals. So I'm gonna start right here. Yeah, I think this is good. So basically, I'm just gonna cover the sketchy, the sketchy, <laughs> the sketch part. And of course, fingers. I just cannot um, help myself. but use my own hands. So the sketch lines are basically just a guide, right? A guide of the shape, all right? So I'm just excited to do this one. You will see later that almost all sketch lines will be deleted as we go on Okay, now I'm going to use the same color um, for the same areas. Actually, not the same color, but I'm going to lighten it a bit. But let's just proceed first with the petals with the same shade of gray, all right? So I'm going to use the same color again for the same areas where it needs to be there, where the color needs to be there. I mean, the same color. It's also a time saver for me to fill in the spaces that require the same color than switching from one color to another and then going back to the same color. It's a waste of time, waste of paint. going to use the same color
here. While I told you that I am removing already the sketch lines, um, on some petals, I'm not gonna remove the sketch lines totally, simply because I still want some sort of separation between each petals. So like this one, maybe I'm gonna delete that later, but I'm gonna use a darker color for that. I'm just gonna leave it like that for now so that we don't lose track of the petals, you know, the separate petals. For the inside petals um, or the inner petals, we're not going to absolutely delete the sketch lines. Just make sure that the sketch lines are still visible to you so that it would be easier for you to re-identify them later when we do the highlighting. So now that we've done the, uh, all right, we're not yet done. I'm gonna darken the inner petals. Yeah, we're not totally removing the sketch lines for the inner petals, but make sure the sketch lines become really thin. Don't make them really thick because that is not realistic at all. Okay, I might make I might make some adjustments right here, but later, okay? All right, now I'm just gonna add more white to the existing gray so that we create another lighter version of the white, or gray, I mean. And I'm gonna use this color to paint some areas. and using some light gray right here. Let's just continue. So here. All right, like that. And then again, for the inside petals, I'm just gonna use some light gray and trying to thin down the sketch lines, as I already told you guys. Okay, I'm gonna make some adjustment right here.
we're not even we're not even um 30 percent in for me okay but be patient once we've finished um underpainting it it will be really really easy for for us Maybe some of you are wondering, why don't you just paint the whole thing, you know, light gray and uh, do the uh, do the separate or the do the lines um, later after you've painted it gray. My answer is that I don't want to do that simply because um, I'm gonna lose uh, proportion or lose the. Yeah, just basically lose the proportion and it will be really hard for me to um, go back to it for purposes of tutorials. We should make our lives easier. <laughs> Did I just say that? Did I just say that we should make our lives easier? Yeah, I said that. Okay, again, just a few more spaces. I'm trying to thin those sketch lines. This will also give you an idea of what you're doing. You know, you're just not painting something. You're trying to understand the shape of the flower. Remember, I'm still retaining some of the sketch lines, but it will be covered later. We just want them to be there so that we don't get lost as we go on. All right. Okay, now I think I'm going to have to let this dry for now. Okay. I'm going to let this dry. Let's go to the background. While waiting for it to dry, I'm gonna get my black, just pure black and color. Okay, I need to get more black. Now that the background is already black without you know us having to use a black canvas i 
All right, now let's go back to the flower. Okay, I'm gonna wash my brush out. Okay, wash it out very well so that you remove the black paint. All right, now I'm gonna use my yellow. This is a very, very fun, fun part, I think. I'm gonna use my yellow, I'm gonna water it down, all right? I'm gonna add a tiny bit of white, like this. Again, water, water it down, and then I'm gonna spread it on certain areas of the flower. This is just glazing, all right? The flower is still white, only that we're going to add some hints of yellow here and there. Because that's the reality of flowers. They still have some other colors inside them. They cannot be purely white. That's impossible. By nature, guys. And here. And also because of the light, it affects the color of the things that we see. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna get a tiny bit of orange. Now you can get your orange. I'm gonna use this orange and mix it with my yellow and white mixture. Select this color and I'm gonna use it right here in the middle. And also here. These are just hints of orange. Alright, like that. Alright. Now before we go back to detailing the inner petals, let's go back to the outside petals, the much easier ones. I'm gonna get my pure white, all right? Just dab onto your pure white. And I'm gonna use this color to create some highlights on the flower. Just use pure white. is mixing but it's all right just add white if you mess up it's all right doesn't really matter like what's going on with my strokes I actually like it <laughs> all right like that again just use pure white on certain areas
Okay, using white, I'm just gonna go around the petals. Okay, now I'm going to use a smaller brush to go into the details, all right? Or maybe not. <laughs> Wait, guys, I'm just going to get my white. I'm going to uh, mix some light, darker gray, actually, like this color. Sorry about the noise in the streets. I mean, along the streets, just right in front of my building. So it's just, I know. So I'm gonna use this light, I mean dark gray, to apply it on certain areas. I'm gonna make it dark, actually, like darker than this. Because it, it looks dark already, but then when I apply it, it becomes a little light. I don't know why. I'm gonna use this, yeah, like that, and darken. We're just doing shadows. All right, like that. Okay, and then use it again right here. And again, right here. And here. Okay. 
let's just add a little space here darken okay. I'm gonna use my white to again outline I think I will make some adjustment right here. Now I'm going to make some light gray. If it's too dark, you didn't lighten it.
Okay, I'm gonna darken this corner to give it um, some sort of dimension. Okay, now I'm going to remove the harshness of the black by glazing over some white. Okay, I'm gonna apply white right here. Also here. I'm actually removing the harshness of the black. I'm leaving only a um, tiny bit of the sketch lines. We don't want any thick sketch lines going on.
I'm going to add some depth right here. So here. I'm also kind of allowing my brush, my brush to um, grab the tooth of the canvas. trying to blend Okay, now I'm going to use a smaller brush or a more pointy brush so that we can get into, get inside that petal. We will be glazing over a little more and actually, I really don't know what time we're going to finish, but I don't mind. So for the in, inner petals, I'm going to use my orange. I'm going to add a tiny bit of black so that I create a little brownie, orangey color. And I'm going to use this to... I'm going to use more black, guys. Create some depth. Okay. Just like that. I'm gonna get my gray. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of yellow.
Okay, and here. Okay, I'm gonna mix my yellow and black and white. Again, yellow. So it's like dirty green. <laughs> dirty and green. What a combination. So. And then I'm gonna use some black. I'm gonna get more pure white because we are almost done but not really because I'm still not happy with what I'm doing <laughs> if you know what I mean I'm gonna get my pure white all right and using my pure white I'm just gonna go and add more color
So I'm just using white, lightening everything that I see here. Adding some grays so that I give it some dimension. Okay, now I would like to, okay, I'm going to add more orange, orangey colors right here, like that, just a hint of that color. Let me check. Kind of like it. But I have the glazes, guys. I'm not yet content, all right? So I'm gonna get my large brush. I'm gonna dab onto my pure white, okay? Just like that. I'm gonna sort of dry brush. I don't wanna call it dry brushing because I'm actually just, I'm not blending. I think dry brushing is good for blending. This time I'm not really blending. I'm actually applying paint. And by doing this, I also create some um, markings on the petals that would have been really, really harder if I use an ordinary um, brush stroke or brush. And again, I'm just going to glaze over some areas. I don't want the, the black, you know, the all black. So I'm just going to glaze it. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to go more into detailing. 
again i don't mind if we finish a little later or if we finish longer than my usual videos i don't mind so i think i'm gonna make this a little more round what do you think yeah i think i need to do that Just make it a little fuller. Right. I'm gonna allow that to dry. Let's create some more depth. So I'm just glazing it white guys so that I remove the harshness of the black as I already told you. We're not painting over what we've done, we're just trying to glaze it guys, okay?
Okay, pure white. And some grays down here. So I'm applying gray and white here and there. You can actually see it. Like that. Oh my gosh, this is coming to life already. Okay, and then I'm just gonna glaze this area with some gray. To be honest, this involves a lot of shading, a lot of layering, which I think is a challenge for me because we're only using a few colors. But then, you know, um, we're this is like a longer video compared to my um, painting tutorials that involved a lot of colors. 
but I actually like this. That's why I'm, I'm quite quiet. Because I just want to show you how this is done. Besides, we're only using a few colors. So there's really nothing much to explain except um, when I'm changing colors. Just to clean the background, you can apply more black. Just to have a clean background. Then I'm going to get my white to just remove the harshness of the dark color. So you see, I still retain that dark sh or darker shade of gray, but I'm not really doing super hard lines. All right, I think this is done, guys. What do you think? I think this is done. <laughs> this is nice, right? Okay, but I think I'm gonna, okay. Typical me, I'm just gonna glaze the middle portion with some yellow. All right. Just be very minimal when it comes to this um, uh, portion. Hints of yellow, do not, don't forget. All 
right. I think that's pretty. That's pretty. What do you think? Okay. So I think I have to sign this now. Or right, wait, guys. You know, sometimes I need to add more. Like that. All right. Okay. <laughs> now I'm going to sign this now. I think I have to sign right here. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my black and sign right here. I think this is the very first time that I sign really small because I always sign very big. Okay, but before I forget, I'm just gonna lighten a bit. right so i think this is good guys so i hope you enjoy this one and i hope you do this one as well if you're doing this let me know in the comment section below and if you've done this with me uh, please let me know on facebook you can message me or you can comment on my facebook post that you've done this with me as well so thanks for watching and see you in my next video love you